Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad Designer Showcase. So let's get cracking. So, friends, as usual, you'll always be able to find them on YouTube, but on my website, hlmodtech.com, I have now put buttons at the top, and then right here, the pink one, is the Designer Showcase. It is its own special page, and I will have all the showcases on here because I've got one dedicated place to put them. All right, friends, so today's designer is a shipbuilder. Tinkercad username is Imperial Naval Yards. I will give you a link to that, of course, in the description. Let me show you one of the first ships that was shared with me. So once again, when these load, one of my favorite things is to zoom out and then just watch it all come together. Uh, when you see the complexity of the parts that are merged to get the exact shape that the designer wants, I just find this to be so incredible. And there we have it, ship number one by the Imperial Naval Yards. Now this user reached out to me via Reddit, which is super cool because I've been showing you the Reddit group, but when I'm at school, I can't show any images because they're all blocked. Today I'm recording this at home so I can actually show you what the Reddit interface looks like. As we zoom in, you can see that these guns are amazing. All kinds of sweet details all the way throughout this and the other ships. Let's quickly switch to a second ship. Once again, I'm just going to back out and then I'll tinker the Roma. I love what he's done with this hull and the propellers. The guns are awesome. Uh, if you've ever looked, I do have a battleship video. My goal is to just get people started and I'd love to see him take it to this level because I think that is just fantastic. These sweet miniguns are all awesome, and now as we move to the bow, check out those sweet details as well. So the Roma is listed as a work in progress, but I think it looks pretty fantastic already. Here is the next Imperial Warship. I'm going to zoom out. Uh, these parts are just crazy large to create this ship's hull. When you zoom in, it is just fantastic. The details on the bridge and all the artwork, everything about this is just fantastic. Now when I talk to the user, uh, the plane is a part, uh, so it is something that was brought in. The guns are also saved as parts. You can tell because they're listed as a shape. These shapes are a fantastic way to take a complex part and save it in your shapes collection. Once you create the shape, then you can reuse it in any of your projects, and it makes those projects load faster. One more look at the front, the awesome anchors, and just everything that's went in to this fantastic creation. And friends, here is the last one, and maybe the most epic one. This one is pretty large. As we let it load, I will zoom out so you can kind of see it. Once again, it is taking up a lot of space. You can see there is the build area. And these are the components that make this amazing aircraft carrier. All right, let's check it out. Fantastic above deck, below deck. And one of my favorite parts is back here. The aircraft just looks spectacular. Once again, those are parts. So that way it loads a little bit faster. And then also you've got the amazing hull and propulsion system. All right, friends. So this designer has only been working in Tinkercad for about three months. Each of these ships has more than 300 parts. And they each took between one and three days as they were created. Now, if you're trying to find him, what you need to do is click on Tinkercad. And we're going to find that search in the top right hand corner. And when you hit it, choose people and type Imperial Naval Yard. And there it is. Once you get here, you can see all of the ships that were created, status, parts that you could use in your own ships. Just like I was in these, you can get in them, check them out. You can give them a like, make sure that they know that you appreciate their work, and you can share comments. 
I'm going to add a quick little comment. And don't forget, if you're near, make sure you take time to as well. All right, friends. So once again, Imperial Naval Yards reached out on Reddit, which I kind of show you at school, but you can never see the images. One of the coolest thing about this image was it was actually created by one of my eighth graders in Tinkercad, which was just totally wicked cool. So friends, you can let me know here if you want to be part of one of these showcases. I also recommend Tinkering with Tinkercad. This is a great Facebook group where you can get help and you can also share your designs and have other people tell you how well you're doing. Lastly, there is the Tinkercad Worldwide User Group, another awesome group of people that are all learning about Tinkercad and sharing the awesome projects they create along the way. Remember, if you do want to share, it is simple as hitting send to and you can get screenshots of your design or you can hit the invite and you can generate a link, copy the link, and you can share it at me. You can always find me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me at HL Tinkercad on Twitter. And of course, friends, you can use the messaging on the HL Mod Tech website. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.